Hello everyone. I'm Jasmine. Let us read Stand by Me chapter 5 part 1. There are times when you feel so dejected. All you want to do is curl up into a ball and cry. There are times when you feel like the whole world is out to get you. You keep dealing with one curl ball after another with everyone everything you have got and then there are times when you feel like you have fallen into a black hole a bottomless pit with no way out but even in the darkest of times when you feel like you have exhausted all your options and you lose all hope and think that it's all over A ray of light appears that leads you forward and sets you back on track. For Tibika, that ray of hope was Tushar. When she and her siblings had shifted to Gargyan, she was burdened with the responsibility of being the eldest in the house. At an age when she had no experience in handling such a situation, she had felt it would be impossible to deal with the challenge. But then she had met Tushar after her MBA, and she had realized that life has its way of bringing you hope in the most unexpected ways. Through thick. and thin they loved each other unconditionally so i'm finally meeting your family today tushar said he had picked up dipika at the entrance to her office family as the word swirled around her head she wished it included her dad and mom Tipika didn't hate her dad. He was barely a presence in her life now, and she had gotten over the separation a while ago. But now, with Tushar meeting her family, she realized that she wished her for her dad to be a part of it. However, she was content in the belief that her mom would. have been happy to meet tushar you look nervous tushar remarked noticing that she was silent and lost in thought that brought her back to reality no i mean yes you're finally meeting my brother and sister i'm not at all nervous as i know they love you I don't mind your sister loving me," Tushar said teasingly. "Shut up!" she hit him on his arm as he drew towards C block. "Actually, I've already met your brother today, the day when Ruhi blacked out. Remember?" "Of course, but that was not a really a meeting." Once things got back to normal the next day, he did mention that he should have at least thanked you properly for letting he, him go that night. I understand. By the way, your complaint has been registered. I checked. Yeah, as if your department is going to get hold of the thief. They can't crack high-profile cases. and i should expect them to get hold of a local burglar when no one even saw him my duty is to assure you that we will i get paid for it to share laughed you know i was really scared till i reached home i just can't express how i felt I don't know what I would have done if something had happened to her. She's more like a child to me than a sister. And Kartik, he would have had a breakdown for sure. 
he is so attached to her. Tushar lifted his hand from the gear shift to hold her consolingly for a few seconds. She had been through a lot and seeing Kartik or Ruhi in any kind of trouble always upset her. You think you shall she will be able to make up with your dad? I mean, he has made a lot of attempts to build a normal relationship with her. I don't know how to defend normal, how to define normal. To others, we may sound crazy and arrogant, both, but for us, that's normal. She no longer regretted the separation from her father. Now that she had built an independent family with her siblings, small, but a source of joy and comfort, that was what mattered after all. People could spend lifetimes searching for happiness outside their home. Moreover, how now that Tushir was going to be a part of it, Deepika felt her life was complete. She was super excited that everyone was finally meeting under one roof today. After parking the car outside, they opened the gate to see Kartik already standing at the door to welcome them. After greeting them, he invited Tushar inside. Should I formally introduce you or will you do it yourself? I'll just go and make coffee for all of us. Ruhi will be here any moment with her boyfriend, Deepika declared. We are good, Tushar assured her. Kartik observed him for a few seconds. Tushar, feeling a little uncomfortable, decided to start the conversation himself. We have met before, not the finest of places to have the first interaction, but here. Kartik smiled. That's what I was about to say. Sorry, my mind was on Ruhi's crisis at the time, so we barely got to interact. By the way, thanks. If it was not for you, I would have had to have a cup of tea with the cops. Oh, that's okay. Thankfully, nothing serious happened that night. Yeah, I'm glad. By the way, you look different without your uniform. So, do I look better or worse? How does it matter when you are already taken? <laughs> Deepika would know if she loves you. I'm sure you are special either way with or without the uniform. She's quite selective in her choices. Indeed, she is. I realized this is the very first time I went shopping with her. That turned out to be the last time. It's been two years now. What the? You guys have been dating for two years and I'm getting to know about it only now. Karthik was shocked. I wanted to be sure, so I took my own time, Deepika shouted from the kitchen. It took you two years to be sure. You said it yourself, I am selective, Deepika sh shot back. That's crazy, Karthik ran a hand through his hair and said to Tushar, you should have put her behind bars. Have you forgotten the main rule of relationships, my friend? The woman is always right, Tushar smiled. The leg pulling continued for some time, and Deepika was happy to see Kartik gelling with Tushar. She also joined in. What more could she ask for? It looked like they were all going to be one big happy family as she had always wished. Often when two people meet, 
they take time to strike up a conversation and get along but Karthik made friends quickly. From cricket to web series, he and Tushar continued to talking, continued to talking casually about everything under the sun until they were interrupted by the sound of the doorbell. Ruhi had arrived with Mahir. Everyone including Tushar knew that Karthik was in for a shock as Ruhi had already discussed her relationship with Mahir in detail in detail with Deepika who had in turn told Tushar about it. The moment Karthik saw Mahir at the door, his eyes widened. At first, he thought it was a coincidence, but he soon recollected that he was to come home with her boyfriend. Holy it is Mahir her boyfriend? First Deepika who kept her affair, affair secret for so long and now this. It's another level of surprise. Why did I fail to sense it? So whenever he came home after work, he used to reach before me for this reason and I used to think about how punctual he is. Should I? Mahir seemed to be asking for his permission to come inside. Of course, it's your house. I feel like I should ask for your permission, Karthik said sarcastically. Ruhi couldn't contain her smile. Karthik looked at Deepika who said, I knew she told me. Deepika too had a smile on her face. Now tell me, did you also, also know this? Karthik turned to Tushar. Unfortunately, yes, he too couldn't help but smile. You people should work for secret agencies. Karthik still couldn't believe that was happening. He turned to Ricky and added, Even you wanted to be sure. No, boy, nothing like that. I liked him since the first time we met during our college days when you introduced me to him. When he expressed his feelings, I told him that we should inform you. He even tried to do so, but he was afraid of your reaction. It was only out of respect as you are after all my brother and he's my best friend. Karthik, my intentions are good. I genuinely had no clue how to tell you that I am dating your sister. You are my best friend and that made things more difficult. You should have told me first. This just shows how much you trust me. You thought I would object to this. Really? You guys are silly. For me, nothing in this world is more important than Ruhi's smile. Her happiness means everything to me. If it did were someone else, I would have, to have accepted it so easily. But with you, I can blindly trust that you will make her happy. I'm just upset right now because I used to believe that we keep no secrets from each other. Okay, I'm sorry. You want me to go down on my knees to ask your permission? Mahir smiled and tried to hug him. Karthik pushed him away and said, Yes, please do that right now. Only then will I give a green signal. Although Karthik was teasing him, Mahir actually went down on his knees. Can I marry your sister in the near future? Everyone in the room burst out laughing. For Mahir and Karthik, it was fresh proof that their friendship was not brittle. It should firm, 
on the foundation of true understanding. It was rare to find such a friendship. They hated seeing each other in a bind. They felt each other's pain without words and always found the right words to comfort the other during difficult times. By the way, your love is true. The burglar that day was not able to steal the ring you gave to he, Tushu said with a grin. You see, we are made for each other like a match made in heaven, said Mahim. They were well on their way to becoming one happy family with no complications, ego, hassles or worrying thoughts of the world outside. But they were unaware of the tragic fate that was approaching. But they were unaware of the tragic fate that was approaching. They were making plans to settle down soon. Oblivious of the terrible event that would unsettle and uproot them completely. Not one of them would have believed it. If they were told that in a couple of years, their smiles would disappear and happiness would part ways with them. If only they could have predicted that the future held for them.